Hi, I'm William with DCI, and today we're going to walk you through installing a quick switch water bottle adapter on your water bottle. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and turn the unit off. Make sure that the unit is turned off by shutting off the master toggle on the head unit, wherever it is, whether it's chair mounted like this unit, wall mounted, cabinet mounted, just go ahead and shut that unit off. And then from there, you want to go ahead and take your syringe, just go ahead and run it. This one's already bled out. But make sure there's no air water pressure left coming out of your syringe. That lets you know all the pressure's gone. Now we're ready to take the bottle off. So go ahead and take, start unscrewing the bottle until it's ready to drop. In our case, this one's already empty. It's going to come off. We're just going to go ahead and set that aside for a moment. We're going to take our kit. Now this kit is part number 8941. It's a quick switch water bottle kit. It's going to have the proper manifold to go on the bottle and also up into the unit. And also it'll have some extended tubings to reach down far enough for that new, new bottle adapter. So let's go ahead and open it up. Inside you're going to have your instructions, adapter, our new tubings, bottle adapter, a little bit of thread locker, and also a restrictor valve. This restrictor is going to be placed on the airline going into the bottle. We're not going to show you that in this video to keep it quick and brief, but this needs to go in line on the air line going to the top of the bottle. The importance to these new tubings is they're just a little bit longer than what came factory. You see that one down there? It's just a little bit longer and it's going to reach to the bottom of the bottle the way we need it to. Right. So let's get started. The first one I like to start with is going to be the bottle. So in this case, this bottle has a little bit of wear to it. I just want to make sure it's cleaned up, that there's no debris, no residue, anything like that. And then we take our thread locker. Since it's a new tube of thread locker, it's going to be sealed on the end. Quick way, carefully, so you don't spray it everywhere, just give it a quick poke through there, screw it back on, and we want to apply that to just the top two threads. So not all of it, just those top two. And what this is going to do, this is going to keep that manifold that we put on there from unscrewing itself. And from there, we're going to go ahead and take our manifold, verify that it has a new washer inside. That washer is really important. You don't want to lock this on and find out afterwards you don't have that in there. Go ahead and screw it down. Just a good hand tightening. And we'll set that aside for a moment. Now our next one is going to be our adapter for the manifold. This one is going to screw on up into here. And probably before we do that, you want to go ahead and pull that airline off. So that's our old airline. It's the short one. We don't want to keep that. In its place, we want to put on our new longer one. There's a small quarter inch barb inside. We're just going to go ahead and shove that into place. There's no collar needed, nothing else, just shoves into place. Then from there, go ahead and screw this right in. And it's on. And at that point, we have our bottle is ready. So you can go inside, slide up into place, and instead of having that four or five turns, just a quick lock in.